Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Glenda Chavez and on my channel you will find all kinds of DIY content including furniture flipping and furniture makeovers. I had been wanting this bone inlay uh, desk for quite some time now and if you do a simple Google search you will see that this furniture is quite expensive. Most desks range from $1,100 to $1,300 and I didn't want to spend that much money. There was the occasional $500 to $700 one but they weren't as big as the more expensive ones. So I went on the hunt for a used desk and guys, this is what I came across and only paid $3. So I know that it looks like it's in really rough shape and it was, but I knew that I could give it some life. If you wanna see how I turn this old desk into a beautiful bone inlay piece, then just keep watching. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start cleaning our desk and we are gonna be using this simple green. You guys know uh, if you're using something like a chemical or some type of cleaning detergent or something to wipe down your furniture to get all of the grease or dirt off, then you always want to make sure that you wipe it down afterwards with some warm water just to make sure you get all of that residue off, making sure that there's nothing that's going to interfere with your paint sticking to your furniture. After I am done with that, then I am just going ahead and removing my hardware. I am going to be reusing the hardware because I feel like this desk came with the perfect hardware. I love everything about it, so I don't see the point in getting rid of it and putting new when I love what it came with. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that off and get it cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in all of the gouges that are on this desk because there's quite a few of them that do need to be filled. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and wait for it to completely dry before we go in and scuff sand. So now that all of our prep work is done, I am 100% ready to start painting. You guys are probably wondering if you're used to seeing any of my other videos that this is not the normal area that I usually record any of my projects. This is actually my third spare bedroom and it looks a little crazy right now because I was trying to do a, make, a room makeover and apparently I didn't realize that there was wallpaper as you can see that needed to come off and I'm in the middle of trying to remove that so that I can go ahead and start doing this room makeover. So that's what that's about just in case you were wondering. If you follow me on Instagram you would have known because I posted about it maybe about mm, a week ago or so I think it was so I'll have my pan handle down here as well as in the description for a clickable link if you guys are interested in following me on Instagram I post just daily stuff and I also post on there behind the scenes when I am working on a YouTube video before I actually get to upload the YouTube video for you guys. So if you guys are interested, I don't have that on there for you guys. But as of now, let's go ahead and get started on painting. The chalk paint that I'm using for this desk is called Rusty Nail by Dixie Bell. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like after coat number two. So we're definitely going to go ahead and add a third coat. And hopefully a third coat will be the third and the last. regular painting. Um, I think it looks great with just three coats. Anyways, um, so I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up a few of these stencils. Like one of them was $3.49, the other one was $3.49, and then the most expensive one was $5.99. And that was more floral. So I've got, you know, a few different designs that I can kind of play around with and see what I like best. I also got a little pack 
of little brushes that you would use for stenciling. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started because this is gonna take a while and it's gonna be really time consuming. So let's get started. I am using chalk paint, by the way. The color that I'm using is Sheepskin by Folk Art. In case you guys end up liking it. It's a little bit like an off-white color. In order to get the least amount of bleeding, you're gonna wanna use the least amount of paint possible when dipping your brush into it and using a dabbing and swirling motion. It looks so stinky good. I didn't have a specific layout or plan for the stencils, I just kind of freestyled and tried my best to use the patterns in a way that it would flow really well together. You may or may not want to do this or you may want to test a piece before you commit to a specific pattern to make sure that you end up loving the results. As you can see here, I am just filling in extra gaps that I had left with just adding a little bit of leaflets here and there. Let's take a moment to remember what this desk used to look like and what it looks like now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I think that this labor of love was 100% worth every single effort, especially because of the price difference. If you found this video helpful or just simply enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future uploads with me. You guys stay safe, be kind, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.